G'day guys, welcome back. I know I said my last pink and turquoise was going to be it, but for some reason I just feel the need to do one more. Just haven't been happy with this colour scheme and I just feel as if I need to do it one last time and give it another go. So, same colours, same mix, 60% uh, glue, 30% water, 10% Floetrol. This is a scraped canvas. It's not the one that I just did. I, I've still got that one. It is here. Oops. That's it there. But uh, yeah, my cells, I just thought they were a bit overstretched. My mix was a little bit too thick. So I'm going again. Because I have the day off and I can spend all day in the studio pouring and I want to get it right. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little base coat just with this global pouring medium. Any pouring medium will work. Um, I have previously done the Floetrol base and I didn't like the way that the Floetrol uh, created extra cells because it's got natural oils in it. Um, where's my spatula gone? There it is. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to use a bit of pouring medium just to make the surface a little bit slippery. The one that I scraped, uh, I put water, <laughs> I put water on the surface and um, yeah, it was not good, not good at all. So that's the one that I've scraped here. Just put a bit of this pouring medium on. See if that'll give us a good effect without those extra little Floetrol cells popping up. Just trying to get up to the edge here without knocking anything over. So yeah, any pouring medium should work, I think. Never done this before with pouring medium, so we'll find out together if it works or not. As I said, just to help the paint flow a little bit. I don't like to use paint because um, I've got enough paint on the surface. It'd be too thick. And also I don't like maybe like white cells popping up if I've used a white background or black cells popping up if I've used a black background. Wipe that off. It's pretty sticky stuff when it dries, so make sure you get it all off. Okay, let's move that out of the way and I can start layering. I'm just going to do three big flip cups, just flip over. I have sprayed them with oil just to see what happens. Um, now I've got 100 grams of pouring medium and 100 grams of paint in each of these, so that's 200 grams. I am going to go with five drops of my treadmill silicone in each colour. And I'm going to do the black and white as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, get in there. Okay, it's five in everything, so that's 20 drops in the whole pour. And I think I ran about seven times. Right. I'm going to try for some bigger layers, just two bigger layers. Is that about half? I think that's about half. I'm just going to pour this in so I get a nice layer on top. You don't have to drizzle in, there's no reason why you can't pour it in like that. The paints will just sit over the top of the other paints. It's much quicker and if you're not confident with drizzling, if you think your paint's all going to just drip straight in like through the bottom, just do this. This one's a little bit thicker. This pink's always thicker. I used less pink, I added a little bit of water. It still feels a little bit thicker than the others. It just always is this pink because it's made on a red base and red just is a really thick paint. I found reds and uh, blues are always thick. 
and then things like turquoise and magenta they're really quite thin have you noticed that even though it's the same brand same paint you just get different consistencies when you've mixed them it's strange i wish they'd make it all the same but i guess they're not making paint for us pourers are they they're just making paint and they don't really care if it's not the same consistency This one needs a little bit more paint so yeah I'm just gonna flip these over I'm not gonna do the flip and drag and hopefully I'll get a, a nice pour now I don't want to use all this black I don't think I'm not sure leave a little bit for my corners maybe nicely already over that slippery surface so if this works well I might do this all the time with my paws we'll see what happens hey see if it works circles when I tip out my cups I'm going to get a circle so trying to fill this in with a little bit of paint so that if I don't get to all the corners it's okay finish off the black I think my last pour when I did those five flip cups it was very dark wasn't it although I did stretch it a lot the more I stretch the more the paint mixes the muddier it gets so if you've got a lot of paint on your surface you don't have to tilt as much you get less mud but um, I do like to tilt because I want my cells to stretch that's the whole idea of how to get them big is to stretch them Can be a very frustrating art can't it you try one thing and it works and then you change something and it doesn't work and then you try something else and just trying to get your consistency right people say to me what do you do to get big cells what do you use it's not necessarily what I use it's the consistency like dimethicone will give you cells treadmill silicone will give you cells um, there's, you know, different things that will give you cells. Paint densities will give you cells. But it's the consistency of your paint that's really important. If it's too thin, you're not going to get cells. If it's too thick, you're not going to get two cells, any cells. So it's the consistency that is key. that a minute I did spray them with my silicone oil that's it there so I like to spray the cups with the, with the spray oil and then put the actual liquid drops into the paint so I have got white and black and then a pink which is called hibiscus coastal turquoise it's just a turquoise really with a touch of blue in it and those are my colors now you can see it's released already so let's not waste any time let's just flip these that one's got more pink in it I turned the cups around I 
so that they wouldn't all be the same. I just turned them. Cell's coming up already, so that's a good sign. And you can see that not much left in the cups there. All right. So I've got two that are mainly blue and one that's mainly pink. Okay, let's torch. Don't run off. Come back. There goes my flamethrower again. You guys are used to that by now, aren't you? A nice little colony happening here. I need to do some more down this end here, so get it out again. And this top bit here needs some more too. Wait a minute for these ones across the black here to come through. Looks like I got a bit close in a few areas. Okay. Oh, there's not much happening in the black there. Let me torch in the black there. It's going to be tricky to get in there though without getting it across into here. Um, I'm just going to get my little torch, that way I can aim the heat just into the black there. Just this little creme brulee one. Oops. Well, it Oops, I'm going to turn it on. There we go. I don't really like this guy very much. Sorry, I don't like you very much. <laughs> All right, we've got some little ones there. It's funny, the, um, maybe the black was a little bit thicker. See, the cells don't want to come up through the black as easily as they've come in through the other colours. They're quite small. All right, let's do this. Now, this is really going to be my last in these colours. I think I've had enough. I just wanted to try one more. Try and keep the pink there. Whoops, losing it off to the side and down at the same time. And back. And I've got quite a lot of pink there. I'll have to get rid of that. I don't like that bit there. Off you go. Don't like you. Off you go. All right. Now that corner's done. Liking that. I shouldn't say so so early, should I? No, I should just not jinx myself and say anything too soon. I still have to go all the way over here. Uh, let me grab another stick. That's slipping, it's slippery, down to the side and towards you, might leave that little tiny black corner there, actually same with that little bit of pink, that can go, I don't like how there's a tiny little bit on the sides like that, so that can just go off. Bring the weight of the paint back as soon as you can so that not too much of it drips off. And spin you around. Okay, 
where next? Where next? I'll just go, oh, I'll go zigzag as I usually do, zigzag and down at the same time. Oops, it's very slippery. I haven't got much to hold on to. So my sides are covered. Might hold on to the push pins underneath if I can. And grab those. There we go. That's easier. I'm just pivoting on this one corner here. And then pivoting on that corner. And then down this way again. Just try and get that little corner off there. And I'm going to go straight down and that'll do. Woohoo! Okay, you know the woohoos, don't you? I'm excited. Much better. Much, much, much better. I really love these flip cups. I'm going off the flip and drag, so I really am. It sounds like I'm swearing, aren't I? Flip and drag. <laughs> Oh dear. Now, I don't mind that bit of black. That's okay. Because I've got a big band of black there. I've got some black cells there. That matches. So, yeah. You know, guys, you guys, you know, I like my black corners. And I really don't have much left at all in here. Just to ease that over. I haven't left myself anything. I will have to just touch that corner up because it's plain black. I can't pick anything up off the table to, to put there. I'm just going to have to scrape what I can out of my cup and use it. I should have enough. Really loving this one much, much more. I'm glad I went again. So this is number four, isn't it? I did two practice ones on the card. And now I've done two big canvases. I'll cover that up because I stuck my finger in it when I was trying to pick it up. Hey, maybe it was the, the um, pouring medium. I just remembered I put the pouring medium down. It flowed really nicely, didn't it? It did. Maybe it was that. Too early to tell. I'm going to have to like do some more pours with the pouring medium as a, a base coat and see whether I get the same result because this is just phenomenal. It is just outstanding. How many more adjectives can I use? Beautiful. Loving it. I think I can stop now. I'm going to sit down and have a, a cuppa. I'm that sort of personality that I have to keep doing things over and over and over until I get it right. Even with my baking. Like when I'm experimenting with baking, like to get the perfect chocolate mud cake, for instance, or the perfect white chocolate and raspberry baked cheesecake that's not dry and crumbly. And I want it nice and moist and creamy. I'll make it and I'll make it and I'll make it over and over and over until I get it right. And um, yeah, that's just the, the personality that I have, unfortunately. Um, and it's coming out in my pores. I just have to keep going and going and going until I get it right, or what I think is right. It might not be right, but it's what I think is right. And that's all that matters, isn't it? You guys have to get be happy with your pores. But yeah, I love, love, Love this one. All right, no fiddling and no torching. No torching at all. My corners are all covered. I'm just going to go around the bottom of the canvas with my little tool, scrape off all that paint that's dripping. If you don't do that, you'll have little dried paint. Whoops, I've just scraped the side by mistake. Later. My tool slipped and it just made a little scrape on the actual side. So yeah, make sure you get all your edges like that, otherwise your painting will dry with 
blobs of paint hanging off the bottom. And because it's got glue in it, um, it can be quite a firm little blob. And you may find that you even have to sand it to get rid of it. Now that white has really stood out. So is it A, my slippery background? Is it B, my nice relatively thick consistency? Is it C, my too thick layerings, not drizzling, pouring them on, two nice thick layers. Is it that? Combination of everything, I guess. I love that black strip there. You know that black strip that I didn't like and I torched with my little guy and I've got those little tiny ones? It's quite pretty now. Big, nice black band there. All right, done. Let's take you in for a close-up. And then I am done with these colours. Get my glove off. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, have a go at maybe putting some pouring medium on your surface. Make a nice slippery base for your paint. And uh, yeah, see how you go. My cells, I'm really happy with those cells. They're nicely shaped. They've got nice rings around them. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that one. So I'll show you the other one. I'll put it on top real quick just so that you can see the difference. I mean, this one's still pretty as well. It's just a little bit more muddy. I can't put my gloves on now. Hands are a bit, hands are a little bit sweaty. Okay, see this one's still pretty, a little bit more muddy, and cells have overstretched. And the cells haven't overstretched on that one. Maybe it's my pouring medium background. This one didn't have the background, so it had a dry canvas, and I really had to stretch that paint to make it cover the whole thing. This one, paint just slid around all over the place, nice and easily so yeah I'm gonna do that again with another pour and just see if I get the same results and you guys have a go too have, and tell me what you think see if it's easier to get that paint to slip around slip and slide okay I'm gonna leave it there uh, I think I've done four pours today I'm exhausted <laughs> I'm gonna have a sit down all right thanks for watching thanks for all your support and I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.